I thought I was doomed. But a miraculous thing happened, General. I could breathe. It must have been the helmet that was jammed onto my head. It was a strange and remarkable thing. Some might almost say beyond belief. A narrow-minded fool may indeed, General. But of course, you are no Durak. <laughs> but even as I sank towards the floor of that lost ocean, my journey was about to take me to darker, stranger territory than ever before. And it happened like this. No oh boy. Where does he get his air from? It's a helmet. Hmm. Magic helmet. It's a magic helmet. Okay. How come he doesn't get enslaved by the helmet? I don't know. He has to work on the story. Right. Well, let's see what he does now. Okay. Beneath the waves of Moliopka. I like how he's walking. Yes. What? Hmm. Who are we gonna meet down here? Ooh, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I have this correctly. After narrowly failing to apprehend the mad missing explorer Thor and recapture my atomic bomb in your giant snowball, you <laughs> fell through thin ice and sank to the bottom of a subterranean ocean, discovering along the way that the mind control helmet you had accidentally wedged onto your head enabled you to breathe underwater and resume your pursuit across the seabed. That's right. Why, well, doesn't sound very likely. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Whoa, we can do long jumps. General, you seem perplexed. Perplexed? Perplexed is that the keys to my house are not where I left them. <laughs> perplexed is the fact my dog will not eat cheese like other dogs. No, Ivan Ivanovich, I am not perplexed. Oh. Oh. Ah, okay. Do we have to go down? I guess so. But that, that looks dangerous. Hmm. I guess we have to carefully glide down. Ooh. Intrigued then, perhaps? I'm not in sure intrigued is the correct term either. <laughs> Enraged at being taken for a simpleton? Now that, perhaps, is a better way of describing my current state of mind. Oh boy. The general does not sound amused. Check out the giant seahorses! Yeah, check out how tiny we are compared to that. <laughs> what? Something just passed us. That is unfortunate, General. Once again, Comrade Pervalov, I must correct you. Unfortunate is losing one's car in a snowstorm. <laughs> unfortunate is booking opera tickets on your wife's birthday and getting the date wrong. <laughs> Was she furious? That is not the issue! <laughs> Furious. Hey. However, now that is a good word. I could speak with your wife. Would that help? <laughs> oh my gosh. I could always have a word with her if you like. I could always have you shot. <laughs> you could. But I suspect she would appreciate the gesture less. <laughs> I suspect she would not care. For you. Oh, I had electrified. Bubble up. Oh. Oh, your bubble popped. It popped. I guess you can't touch the walls? Nope. I feel like baby Mario. I and know. He's, and he's floating away and Yoshi has to get him. But at least he's not screaming, going, wah, wah. Exactly. <laughs> Because then I was about, I, for me, I wanted to leave that sucker in his bubble. 
Hmm. Just to punish him for screaming so annoyingly. <laughs> Float away, Brett. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was not correct. No. A kraken. A vast monster of the sea. A giant, humongous, many-armed electrical destroyer of ships and cities. Electrical? Electricity flowed along its horrible body, sparking and stunning all it touched, flowing like deadly rivers along its awful tentacles. Mm. I guess I was good. Yeah. I guess we were meant, we were meant to fall down here. Even deeper. He's falling a long way. Always is. Ah, but land softly. Seems a long way down for somebody who doesn't have like the right pressurized diving gear. Yeah. <laughs> or submarine. There's a giant submarine in the background. A sobering discovery. Are you suggesting that the vessel simply wandered off course and sank here? That seems unlikely even by your standards. Huh? No, General, I only wish that were true. The mighty ship showed terrible scars. Signs of having been grappled and torn asunder by some huge and terrible adversary. It is indeed strange and curious. I am troubled by this discovery. There's a bomb. Might you almost be and perplexed? I can see mine. Mm -hmm. Don't push back. your luck. I see it. A little hostile area here. I feel like he's in like a giant fish tank. Hmm. Just... Can we mess with this? It has a little lever. Oh, it does? I would have seen that. See? Oh, yeah! Ah. Move in the light. Ah! Flowers oh. go nap nap. Do not turn it back. Turn on flowers. And then here. Thank you. That's more like it. Wee. I see bones. That's not a good sign. And it's weird that the bones are red. <laughs> yes. Maybe he got electrocuted by the plant. Maybe. Maybe get a bubble. Bubble up, bubble up. You go down. Uh -oh. Yes. What was this? Another light. Come on, interact. <laughs> Guess they don't like the light. No, they go nap nap when they get light shined on them. Yes. Oh, 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 too far, too far, too far. Wow. Oof. Even. Almost got fried there. Come on. No. I was stationed at Sydney Ostrich some years ago. I am only too aware of how easy it is for the imagination to create monsters when one is exposed to lonely and dark places. My men required constant monitoring. Much like my cousin Pavel. <laughs> he was also stationed at Ostrov? No, he required constant monitoring. He was a devil for stealing eggs. Hmm. Where did he steal eggs? Uh, maybe he really liked his omelets. Maybe. Ooh, I found a treasure. Check that out. 
perfect. Take it home. Maybe the Russians will forgive you. If you give them enough rubble, maybe. I was referring to the fear that something is lurking in the darkness. Something strange, brutish, and ill-intentioned. Again, that sounds much like my cousin Pavel. around so he can bubble through there. I love how he jumps like he's on the moon. Yes. <laughs> Defying gravity. Ooh, look at the jellyfish. Don't touch the jellyfish. But I want better. They're shiny. They're not healthy. But they're shiny. They zap you. A ah, little sting won't hurt. <laughs> well, maybe it'll hurt a little, but it'll be fine. Not gonna test it out. But they were pretty. Hmm. So colorful. I was being hunted. There was no doubt about it. And escape was all I could think about. Naturally. That and duty. Duty? Yes, General. After all, I had a bomb to recover from that villain Toll. How clever of you to remember that. <laughs> he should get a medal for everything he had to go through. Well, he went through so much. Yes. Of his screams. Oh oh oh, 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 you just made it. Saved. Sure. <laughs> Don't <laughs> scream. Can you make it? Oh, yes. oh, just made it. That was close. I just can't get over how pretty these different levels are. Mm-hmm. Very diversified. Mm hmm And the colors and the dynamics are really pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, but first, there was the issue of escape. Escape from a dreadful grasping creature that consumed all it could reach. Dragging anything that wandered within its clutches to a miserable doom. A hoarder of useless trophies and stolen goods. Mm, once again, Tavarish, I suspect you are pursuing a somewhat tortuous metaphor for capitalism. In the misguided <laughs> hope of appealing to my political ideals. Rapid? Oh no, he didn't. I should be able to go up there, right? 
think so. Oh. I think I have to go to the right first. It might be, yeah. That looked like it hurt. I think you spawned right where you... Yeah, you did. Yeah. I might have to go here first, yes. Then we can go up here, yes. I'll look at the head in the background. Oh yeah, look at that. Has like the spores like in the upside down? Yes. It does. Are we gonna meet the, a giant kraken? Demogorgon? A demogorgon? <laughs> I don't think you're gonna meet a demogorgon. Ah, uh, well, it was, I was shot. like a mouse, General. Mm. A little mouse being toyed with by a terrible cat. Or rather a wet mouse. I was like a little underwater mouse. Being stalked by a giant rubbery electrical cat with eight tentacles. Exactly, General. Good, I'm glad we cleared that up. <laughs> you may continue. There's a lot of those red glowy things. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. Geronimo. Ooh. No, no. Oh, oh, oh wow. just made it. I did not think I could make that. Okay, I was gonna say, I think you need the bubble to last longer. Oh! Ooh, <gasps> Ooh big eye! Sauron so, so is down here. <laughs> oh no. He wants to know if you have the ring, Frodo. Yes. I don't have the ring. You cannot know what I have in my pockets, is. Submarines. You didn't mention submarines before, didn't I? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why? No, 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 General. Of course, submarines. Millions of them. Uh, well, uh, several, <laughs> at least. Millions. <laughs> that dumped right fast. Millions, about well, several. Hmm. A any particular submarines? Did you see names? Numbers? General, have you lost a submarine? I am not at liberty to answer that question, as you well know. Well, General, <laughs> losing one's car in a snowstorm is unfortunate, as you say. But to lose a whole submarine, that could be considered careless. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he loses an atomic bomb and he's, he, yes. he chastises him for losing a submarine. Mm -hmm. What kind of general are you? Mm -hmm. I mean, look how brave Ivan is, mm -hmm. running through Minesweeper. Electric fields, mines. There it is, M two hundred fifty six. Ah. And you are certain it was M the Vesci Pudisat Schwist. Well, that was painted on the hull, so I can only assume so. Ah, I think I know where this dismal story is going next. Uh oh. You somehow miraculously brought the. Remaining closed cycle engine online, uh, flooded the torpedo tubes, dispatched the Kraken with one shot and triumphantly surfaced. <laughs> no, General, that is not what happened at all. Huh? I did indeed make my way to the torpedo tubes, but for a very different purpose. After all, history has taught us that atomic power is not to be toyed with. Much like tired, impatient generals, perhaps. Particularly the perplexed ones. Indeed, General. Or like dogs that will eat no cheese. Oh. 
can take my helmet off now. Yes. Uh-huh. Mm, phew. Um, you might need that to go back up. Yeah, right. He just tosses it carelessly. Oh, no, to go back oh. Up. Uh-oh. Sauron is back again. Yes. So maybe you should have just kept it in his backpack. Yeah, just a thought. I mean... Uh, yes. Unless he's going to use a bubble to float back to the surface and hope he'll express. Right. Oh, oh executed. Oh, bad. Oh, wow. Did I press the button? Um, the electricity, apparently. I see. Uh oh. Off we go. Will our determined yet disorientated hero end his days as socialist sushi? Will his <laughs> daring exploits be cut tragically short by vengeful calamari? Will the general's wife ever forgive him for missing Ruslan and Ludmilla? And just how many eggs did Pavel steal? And where did he keep them? Hey. All of these questions and more may or may not be answered in the next exciting episode of Little, Little Obvious. Obvious. He always gets himself into trouble. I have no idea how he ended up launching himself out of a torpedo. Uh. is watertight. True. Since he lost his helmet. Hmm. Guess we'll see what happens to him next episode. <laughs>